I'll be showing you how to make natural candles at home using soy wax and essential oils. So the first thing that I've done is set out all the supplies that we're going to use. Um, I have a kitchen scale, um, a, an electric burner with a pot of water sitting over the top of it. We're going to use the double broiler method to melt down the wax. And then I have our wicks that we're going to use and the stickers that will stick the wicks um, and attach them to the jars. And then I have my candle wax here on the floor because it's a big, heavy container. So uh, the next step is gonna be to go ahead and measure our wax. These three jars are about eight or nine ounces each. They probably hold about eight ounces of wax. Um, so I'm probably melting more wax than we're going to need today. So we'll go ahead and get that started. Now your next step is going to be to attach your wicks to your jar. Use a little bit of hot glue if you want to, but I really like these little wick stickers that you can find down at the link below. And you're just going to want to make sure that your wick is centered in your jar. And I like to take something and just give it a little push to make sure it's nice and secure. Now that we have our wicks attached to the jar and while the wax is still melting, the next thing I like to do is go ahead and measure out the essential oils that I'm going to be using in the candles. So for a natural wax, a general rule of thumb that I like to use is um, to use about one ounce of essential oil per pound of wax. So I have actually already measured the essential oil out and this is going to be enough for this small batch of candles here. Our wax is fully melted now, which is just about the perfect temperature to pour in those essential oils and let them bind to the wax. So once you've uh, poured in the essential oil, you're gonna wanna stir it into the wax for about two minutes so that it can fully combine to that wax before you pour it into your candle jar. So while the wax and the essential oils bind together and calm down uh, from being stirred. You never want to pour directly into the jar after stirring up the wax and the oils. Um, you want to let all the bubbles that it form that formed and were created settle down before you pour them into your jars. Um, so we'll go ahead and set our wicks using our wick setters. temperature is reading right about 150 degrees, which you want to be between 150 degrees and 160 degrees on your wax um, when you begin pouring. Now you'll want to pour the wax very slowly as to not form any bubbles. And you're going to stop pouring right when you get to the bottom of the lip of the jar. Give your candle jars a little tap 
after you've poured to eliminate any bubbles. Okay, and then there's a little mess there. To mention this when we were setting up but you do want to put your candles in a location where they won't be moved for 24 hours because um, they're going to need to fully set in the jars for 24 hours and it's best not to burn them for two weeks so we'll go ahead and let those set and I'll show you the next step of uh, trimming your wick and lighting your candle now that our candles have had 24 hours to set, it's time to remove this wick setter and trim your candle. You're gonna to wanna to trim the candle until you have about a quarter of an inch of wick left. On the very first burn, it's especially important that you burn your candle long enough to achieve a full melt pool. And what that means is that the wax has melted all the way to the edges of the jar before you blow out the candle. Uh, wax has a memory, and so each time you light your candle, it's going to follow uh, where the wax has been before. Thank you.